Hey guys, what's up? My name is Caleb, um, administrator of this page, I guess, whatever you call it. And, yeah, oh, you get to see me, that's kind of scary. But, anyways, um, yeah, today, God has been at work lately in my life, and I just kind of wanted to share it here on YouTube. So, today, God has, uh, God, for the, we have a mosque, okay, a Muslim mosque in the town near where I live, the town's called Greeley, and it's been established there since about 1980. Today is the first day that they actually hosted a open house where they invited everyone in the community, whether they were Christian, Mormon, we saw some Mormons there, Jewish, even atheist, and they, they just wanted to build a cultural relationship thanks to all these uh, tensions in our country, you know, with ISIS and uh, different terrorist attacks, and they just want to show us, you know, Islam is not about that. Anyways, that's a huge discussion that I don't have time for today. I just thought I'd like to... I, they gave us a gift at the end of the uh, the experience, as you can see here, a nice little bag. So I just kind of wanted to share or open it on camera and just see what they, they give me, you know. I'm just kind of curious. So I already know one of the things they gave me, which what do you expect when you go to a mosque. So why don't we open it real quick. And I got my face. Sorry, guys. And then uh, this. So the first thing is, of course the Quran, but it's an English transi translation, actually. Uh, how can I do this? Eh, yeah. So, it's English. Uh, yeah, so, um, technically, for some Muslims, at least, they believe that you cannot um, read the Quran accurately unless you have the Arabic text. So, if you read English, they may say, well, you didn't actually read the Quran because it's corrupted thanks to the translation, but Still, nice gesture of them. Um, I actually am going through the Quran as it is, as a Christian. I'm just trying to get an idea of what their culture is like and their beliefs. I'm not a Muslim, so, yeah. Uh, what else is in here? <laughs> I know, I'm so good at the camera, huh? And then, Islam Explained. A little brochure about uh, why Islam, I guess. Yep, we have a quote of with the Quran, and, okay, cool. A little brochure, probably like how to get started, you know. Some Christians, they do that. Jesus in Islam. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That is going to be a fun one, actually, to read. Because the Quran actually does mention Jesus. And I was just reading the other day, in the third chapter of the Quran, it says, it talks about Jesus being a great prophet, a great teacher, and that he actually was able to heal. He did some miraculous healings, which... Which is kind of fascinating that the Quran is, you know, it's got some good things to say about Jesus. They, most Muslims actually revere him as a prophet. He's a good prophet. Um, and then you have the concept of God in Islam, so more cultural stuff. More stuff that I can learn, so that way when I talk to my Muslim friends, which I did make some today, in the mosque, I can understand where they're coming from easier, and I as a Christian can share, tell them more about Jesus and how he loves us and how God wants a relationship with us. And then we have um, here the this thing, Muhammad. I can't read backwards. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Muhammad, the final prophet of God. So Muslims believe, you know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, uh, Jacob, and Israel, Jesus. You know, that's all the same God, which I have reason to believe they're not. Allah is not the same as uh, the God of the Bible, but... That's another discussion for later. All right, we also have two more themes by the looks of it. Ooh, so kind of I was expecting this one. Women in Islam. So it talks about how women are elevated in Islam, which technically that is true in the context of when Muhammad first was uh, introducing Islam to the Saudis, the original Ar Arabic tribes during the 600s. 6th century or 7th century, uh, Muhammad did elevate women because before that, women were basically treated as slaves because they, of the pagan religion. So that is not a surprise. And then life after death, Muslim style. So yeah, talks about the, uh, oh, it has the Quran too. Yeah, okay. So anyways, it talks about Allah and how you, you get... Uh, get into paradise which for muslims is yeah so how you get to heaven and all that all right and 
That is, I believe, it. Yeah. Empty. So, before I go, I just kind of want to say a couple thoughts here. Um, first off, Muslims are so hospitable. Hospitable? Hospitable. They are so hospitable. I mean, my goodness. We came to the, the mosque, and uh, I went with some Christians, and we all drove separately, so we were just trinkling in. But, oh, man, it's incredible how... Um, they were so kind. They 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 treat us well. We they gave us a, they they gave us a full out Middle Eastern lunch. Oh, so good food with uh, lots of fellowship. We talked. We were we just wanted to build friendships. You know that was the goal of this event, and I'd say that was a huge success. And Muslims do such a good job of being really nice and friendly to their guests, and that was so incredible. I love their culture for that. Um. And it's really nice that they gave me the Quran, which I will be using this, I guess, a little bit as I continue to examine and, of course, critique their book. But for me as a Christian, my perspective of this event is simply this. God is at work in a huge way. This mosque has been here since 1980. It's 2016 when this video was recorded and uploaded, I'm sure. And so um, because of that... God has softened their hearts to the point where they're at least willing to talk to Christians about this stuff and host us in their house of worship, which is pretty cool. And now I've talked to some of them, and we've got coffee set up, but one of us will run up to one, – one of the guys and I, we're going to go up to – sounds like Estes Park maybe, up in the mountains. I live in Colorado, so that will be really nice. But it just is – it's such a blessing. And obviously you, you wear what they want us to wear, what we wear to church, so I'm a casual churchgoer. Well, casual dressing. But it's just as cool how God is uh, at work. And he is working with the Muslim people. And he's bringing them to the United States. That way we can reach out to the Muslims. Without having to go overseas and into countries where we can't get in. It just it just is incredible. So, hope you enjoyed this random video on my YouTube channel. I'm sorry. I've just been so busy. So, yeah. I will eventually get started. But for now, I just wanted to share that. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out the music mixes of uh, Finding Focus Ministries. And I will see you guys later. Have a nice day. And may God bless you. And may his love, God's love, bring you peace and comfort.